What's up, guys? <laughs> it's your favorite Irishman. Right, chow. And, uh, well, sorry, guys. I've been a little sick lately. Uh, I actually spent almost a whole freaking day trying to get better. And, uh, well, I think going, <laughs> uh, I think going a little balls deep in some of this info. I'm going to get deeper, but, um, hopefully my health improves very shortly. I'm not sure if it will, though, but, uh, there's some stuff going on that I'll be, I'll be posting links in some descriptions. I'll be posting some of their stuff, uh, in some of my videos, uh, very shortly, uh, that, that ties, uh, CERN into, uh, even some prophetic word, some very interesting things, pardon, um, <clears throat> but, um, uh, uh, basically, somebody had asked me one time, I don't remember if I, <laughs> I don't remember if I actually got to post the video, because, uh, some things were happening, but, um, in, in case I did not, all right, somebody asked me one time, what's so bad about portals, okay, well, uh, I expressed it in this video and in, in that video, but I don't know if it got posted. So if it didn't, here's why. Uh, imagine uh, your home, okay? You have a front door. You have a locks on it. Well, you have a locks for a specific reason. It keeps intruders out. That's a portal. It's a gateway. It's a door, right? Um, so what happens when you leave the door open? Well, there's possibilities that somebody's going to come up and be like, hey, you left your door open. And there's other possibilities that someone else with not so well intentions comes through to either steal, kill, or destroy. Hmm? Basically, what I'm saying is portals are a doorway, they're a gateway. Right? So sometimes when you open that gateway, not everything is good that comes about it. Does that make sense? Okay. Hope you're following me. All right. So that's my whole idea on the whole portal aspect, okay? Oh, gosh. Now, apparently Huff was even mentioned about <laughs> uh, getting getting deeper into the spirit communication. <laughs> the funny thing about it is a lot of his stuff, right? It doesn't even, it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> gosh. A lot of his stuff for scientific method period would not hold up. Like, okay, in order for scientific method, for example, to happen, you'd be like, what's in my hand, right? What is this? And say it's a pen, right? You don't say what it is. You just say, what's in my hand? And they say, it's a pen. All right, well, what color is this object? Well, it's black. Well, what is this again? It's a pen. Okay, that's, you know, it's a scientific method. It's not just uh, a series of coincidences anymore. Now it's proven... But obviously, it can't be a series of coincidences, right? Anyway, what Huff does is, hey guys, how are you doing? Oh, look at this. Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay. Maybe it's a jump cut. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, we're all here. <laughs> okay, well, that doesn't answer my question. Does that make sense to you guys? I'm not trying to be mean to all the Huffmanites. I'm really not. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get you more aware, pay attention to what's going on. Um, uh, for his uh, example, scientific method is just is is terrible, and a lot of the whole quick vids. All right, you can't see my fingers. Can you see my fingers? Quick vids, right, are just because of the fact that he wants to keep you entertained. All right, because it's been a couple of days and he ain't got shy, right, for whatever reason. So that last one he uploaded, right, that was like what whatever it's and it wasn't even correct i don't remember what it was but it wasn't correct and it's, well what does that have to do with anything nothing you know and he he mentioned he wants to do some communication back and forth but he's not even getting good communication as far as responses um he, let's say let's say for example all his videos have are all spirit which i don't believe they are but let's just say for example they're all spirit communications correct okay well if they were <laughs> Then why are so many random? Okay, there are so many that, that, that does not say that they don't answer his question specifically, you know. And if you're doing the scientific method, you should be able to repeat that experiment a couple times and have the same result. That's the scientific method. Okay, 
So if you see on a couple of my videos where I say, what is this? What is this? What is this? It's not me trying to absolutely piss off a spirit, which I mean, it sometimes does. But it's just validation to show you that, hey, they're responding. They know exactly what the heck I'm holding up without me having to say it, etc., etc. All right. You following? Cool. He doesn't do this. All right. Anyways, but now apparently he mentioned the uh, that he wants to go back and forth for communication. And it's very interesting uh, because uh, some of the truth seekers have already talked about this. Like, we know what's up. Something's going down. Mm -hmm. And you will see it very shortly. Um, anyway, I've also been doing Steve's mod for this exact thing. Um, and we got to play with it in a bit. I wanted to use it on a live. But obviously, now that if I use it on a live communication... Just because Steve Huff mentioned this thing, um, I'm not, I can't show what I'm using, what I'm doing, sadly enough. It kind of bothers me, kind of obviously pisses me off a little bit, uh, because I think this stuff like this should be free. Anyway, as far as opening portals, it's a big no-go on old Steve's list. I wouldn't try, like I wouldn't try to open portals that would not be a thing. And then most people say, well, you're opening portals, um, you know, when you listen to radio. Well, that's frequency in the air. It's something that's already there. Uh, it's just listening in, in, in a sense. It's not trying to conjure, open things, etc. like that. Does that make more sense? I hope so. All right. Uh, more to you. Uh, love you all. Peace.